What's going on, Kick Squad? It's Eric. We're going to do a review of some of the game-winning field goals from the 2019 season in order to get you guys hyped up for this upcoming season. Uh, you guys are about a week away, if not even days away, from playing your first game. So before we get into the actual video, just real quick, if you haven't already, uh, the ebook and book versions of The Art of Kicking, which is going to cover technique, mindset, uh, drills, workouts, and everything else. Like If there's one book that you could get in order to progress your skills, this would be the one. So... You know, of course, this is going to be published the day that the video comes out. So check the links in the description to see all of that and uh, support your your guy. If he's brought any value to you, hopefully this is, uh, you know, something that you would consider getting just to, to help yourself or someone else or friend or family member, you know, whatever the case. But uh, without me jabbering on, you know, like, comment and subscribe. Uh, let me know what uh, what kind of videos you want to see next. But let's get right into it. And you guys can check this guy out, Raf. He, he made this video, so you can go on YouTube and type in Game Winning Field Goal 2019, and you'll see his, uh, his is the first result. Hero here for these fans. Big old Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, that's beautiful. So I actually competed against him in, in college um, at kicking camps before. He was very strong. He had a bit of a, like, timing issue he was always he was he had a good leg he was decently consistent but I, he really was able to work on his technique with Justin Tucker and uh, the Baltimore Ravens and you can tell now after he's been in the NFL he really honed in on his consistency I mean he's got a crazy good leg and I'm glad to see that he's refined it even more so so now he can just drill 58 yarders with ease and it's actually pretty cool because one of the the field goal right here, you could see that the laces were pointing towards him, and then Morse said did a fantastic job of getting it turned around so that he was able to strike it with uh, the freaking big old leg that he has. I mean, he probably would have made that from I'd say at least 64 because that was it looked like halfway up the uprights and hit the back net. Hitting the net from 58 plus is always a good sign. So uh, let's actually watch that one more time. And you'll see, watch the, the laces, and as he kicks, he gets it like turned around, uh, and he just boots it. He trusts his swing, keeps his eyes back on the ball, and just Hero lets it rip. For these fans. Yard the laces, yep. A little, little half turn. Yeah, that's beautiful. Love it. Against my team, of course. I'll be gold. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Try and win it for the Ravens. It would be their eighth. As much as I love Justin Tucker, that picture makes him look like um, the guy from Nightcrawler. I believe it Jake Gyllenhaal. Guylen Hall, Golukin Hall, whatever his name is. Um, yeah, just based on that alone, I mean, he, he, as crazy as he is, he's crazy good. So I guess it makes sense. But man, he, he's the dude that I would want kicking all the field goals in like the last second. He's what we call um, a cleaner. So he'll get the job done no matter what. Him and Vinatieri are like my two, my two dogs. But he's got a really good frame. I think he's like 6'2". And he has a good body position at contact where he gets out and he just whips his leg through the ball. Good contact. And he just strokes it. Straight, if he can do it. From 49 yards out. Too easy. He's got his routine down to a science. Like if you watch his kicks from when he was a, uh, I was gonna say freshman, when he was a rookie with the Ravens, he, you can tell he's he's almost the exact same in his routine. And that's something that Randy Brown, I, I'd imagine, his kicking coach for the uh, Ravens has worked on him with. And it's weird because you don't really see any kicking coaches in the NFL like on the t actual team, and that's what they have at the Ravens. They have a coach that's specifically for the kickers, and they're. I'd say the best special teams unit in the entire nation um, because they have someone constantly looking over him. But yeah, he's got a great frame, good, good freaking leg. I mean, he's, he's my guy. Baltimore. 
33 yards into a 22 mile per hour win. Lambeau's kick on the way, right down the middle and good. Okay, well, I don't know if you heard that guy, but a 22 mile an hour win, if you so much as fart at any moment right before you kick, that's going to miss the kick. Like, you're going to miss. <laughs> um, the wind is going to make it so difficult for you to hit, like, your best ball. You really have to make sure your contact is down. That's something that Lambeau has always, I would say, focused on the most. It looks like he's always really good about hitting good contact. And if he does shank it, it's because he hit too high up on the ball. So he's really, he's always hitting, like, almost dead center, if not just under center of the ball. I'm not saying that that's the best part to hit it, but he does a great job of hitting it dead center a lot so it can drive through the wind. Um, but if you are facing a 22 mile an hour wind and you get under a little bit, it'll do one of those things where the ball just goes up and just dies. Like that one video that, that, um, that one kicker had from a few years back where he kicked like a 35 yarder in this crazy bad wind and it just went up and just fell down. Uh, luckily that didn't happen for Lambo, but, um, that would be something to just be careful of if you're kicking into a win. Contact is definitely king in that, in those scenarios and just trusting your form. Down the middle and good. And the Jaguars beat the Broncos. Handing Denver. It's a great, it's great mustache by Minshew. Going back to last Goodness. Season. The things I would do to have Leonard a mustache Fournette, like that. 225 yards rushing. A new career high. Also had a career high, 29 carries. Gold. Wins it again. Yeah, that was, yeah, cool little. Skip it. Look at it. Look at him skip it like a schoolgirl. He's like ready to go to school, got his lunch packed. I don't know. That was a weird little skip. We're going to watch that again. Check out what is this? What is this? <laughs> He's like skipping his way to school or something. Another walk off for the 49ers and a thriller in Santa Clara. 42 yarder for the win. Got a practice kick a moment. Jason ago. Myers is that Jason guy. Jason Myers. Does he have it? He's the dude to watch this year. And Seattle. Has done it. Dang near over the uprights from where he was at. That's pretty impressive. And San Francisco suffers their first loss. Russell Wilson put on that cape again. McManus for the win, and it is good. He's got such a strong leg, but He's very dangerous. When he like misses, he misses bad because he typically sweeps his hips and leg around pretty heavily. But man, when he connects, he's he's got a huge leg for sure. But it's like it freaks me out watching him swing sometimes because I just don't know if he's gonna hit it dead center or if he's gonna like sweep it across. Um, in a perfect world, I would it would be nice for him to have more of like a Jason Myers swing. Or maybe a Justin Tucker where they just drive through. Uh, but, you know, he is in the NFL. But, oh gosh, I mean, he made it. But, geez louise, man, those those types of swings bother me, you know. Chargers all eight. Harrison Bucker trying to be the hero. Game over. He's definitely got the biggest leg in the NFL. Will Lutz from 33 yards. And that kick is good. The Saints win it. I think he should change his name to Well Never Losing because he doesn't lose on field goals. I don't, I don't know. Probably something like that because he, he's, 
he's 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 money, and I'm excited for his career. So maybe he could consider something like that. Name change. Or long this summer, and now to play hero again. And there that was a great is. kick. Goodness. Walk it off and win it for Mason Crosby. It's a dangerous thing to do, man. They'll freaking rip you to shreds if you're not careful. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Tough to block this one. The dude. Field goal try, so the greatest to ever do it. it. Elevated. Watch for the pressure right up the middle. Look at this little two-step guy. Rhodes will snap it. Sanchez to hold it. The veteran Vinatieri sweeps the leg. He like doesn't even swing anymore. He doesn't even swing. He just like ball. You know what to do. Just go in. Just you know, scoot on, scoot on in. That's it. Do your thing. I'm just gonna be here. I'll. You do your thing. I'm just gonna get the credit for it. It's just, it's funny to watch him sometimes because like now he's gotten, he got to the point until the end of the end of his career where he was just like tapping it and it's going still 50 plus yards. Take the lead. Fifteen, thirteen, Indianapolis with 22 seconds left. Yeah, the snap from Luke Rhodes is right to the body of Sanchez. Sanchez does really a super job of getting it on its point there. And was there ever any doubt that Vinatieri wouldn't come through? I don't think so. And Dan, without the Brissette escape in the end zone from Von Miller. That's the like his, his trademark. He doesn't even like... Do anything crazy, he just does this. I love that. He's just like a Tiger Woods little fist pump. Man, that's when you know you're you're legit. When you don't even you make a kick that's like game winning and you just <laughs> I love it. To never even get to this point where Frank Reich is close to celebration. Heartbreak. Andy Lee the holder. There's Tucker. Played that win. Oh boy. Justin Tucker. He made it though. But geez, Sneaky dog. Pittsburgh in overtime. Sneaky dog. And the kick by Pinheiro is good. It's good, and the Bears win it. I want to see Pinheiro do really well this year. Like, I, I want to see him. I want to see him pop off. I know he's. He's bounced around from team to team. I think consistency has been kind of an issue right now. Uh, honestly, if he if he cleans up his swing, I think he'll be great. I mean, he's he's definitely got an NFL, uh, clearly has an NFL leg, but he's he could definitely be an elite kicker. I just think he needs to to fail like one or two more times because some of these guys they've been bounced around like nine to thirteen teams, and they finally find the team that that believes in him and then he just rides with them. So I really want him to, to do big things at, uh, at whatever team he ends up at. But anyway, I, uh, you know, I, I think he'll do just fine wherever he's at, but you just got to put in the work, man. I know he's a hard worker, but rooting for him. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did like comment and subscribe, you guys know what to do. Hit the bell notifications to get updated with any new posts that I have. Uh, but again, check the link in the description. This book and ebook are out right now. Uh, that will be a lesson, a little like snippet of everything that I've ever learned in my entire life um, for kicking is in there. And it's workouts, mindset stuff, you know, technique. Like kicking is almost all mindset. So I did go pretty heavy on the mindset section. So 
feel free to read it. Um, you know, leave me an honest review. I'd love to love to hear your feedback on it, what you thought of it, uh, if you gave it to anybody else, like what they thought of it, and uh, you know, we'll get this thing rolling. But follow me on all my socials and all that fun stuff, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace.